The cap tool in 3D Code's Read Topology Workspace works just as the name implies. It allows you to cap openings in your mesh. It works great for areas like the ends of fingers, horns, teeth, claws, anything that is cylindrical or conical in shape. So let's go ahead and click on that and you'll see how 3D Coat provides a preview before I apply this. You can see exactly where it's going to place the endpoint. So I'll click and there we have it. Let's go to a flat area like an eyeball. You can also create an end gon in those situations where you may want it. So let's hold down the shift key and click on that and now I have just one big end gon. Let's go to the select tool. I'm already in faces mode so I'll click on that. And you can see it's just one large face to which I can go back and use maybe something like the split tool click and click and so on now I want to show a quick tip if you happen to use the cap tool in an area like this and you realize that you need to add some additional geometry here it doesn't allow you to create loops along triangles like this so if I try to use split rings it works along quads very well but it does not on triangles. So what we can do is add some additional loops here with split rings and now if we want we can use something like slide edges hold down the control key and it will allow you to click and drag and slide an entire loop. Now the great thing about this is 3D Code is using auto snap to hold the vertices or keep them snapped to the object beneath. So again, I can do the same thing here or let's go to the select tool, edges mode, hold down the shift key and click and that will select the entire loop. I'll select that one as well. And now let's go to the bottom in this selected area of your tool panel and click relax a few times until it is sufficiently smoothed. and let's expand relax and I can now hit escape to drop that selection okay so it's a pretty straightforward little tool thank you for watching we'll see you next time